Shabbat Shalom family, and welcome to Shabbat in your home. It's so great to be back with you to usher in another Sabbath. It is so good, dear, to be back home. I've been really busy this past week, as you know, eight flights, five cities, six days, uh, Passover just passed me by. I was in so many places. I'm so grateful that the Lord commanded us to take a break, and this is it. So let's get going on this Shabbat in your home. Amen. Let's begin with the blessings as we join Joel and Shay and their boys at the table of the Lord. All right, guys, ready to welcome in the presence of the Lord? Milo is definitely ready. Hey, no eating the holly yet. We gotta wait. It's Shabbat. It's our favorite time, okay. other than Hanukkah. Okay. <laughs> All right, All right let's see if we get this done. Ready? Hold on, left-handed. Oh, it's hard. I'm not left-handed. Okay, okay, ready? Oh, my Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. All right. No more fire. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher ki chanu, b'mitzvot ha-vitzivanu, lehadlik ne'er shel Shabbat. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, you have sanctified us by your word, given us Yeshua our Messiah, and commanded us to be a light to the world. Amen. Amen. All right. All right, so I know you're ready for the bread, but first we're going to do the grape juice, the wine. All right, ready? Ready to grab the cup. <laughs> okay. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu machalam. Bray pre Hagafen. Blessed thou, our Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit from the vine. Thank you, Yeshua, for your blood mm -hmm. that washes us and cleanses us from all yes, unrighteousness. Thank you for the covenant that we have with you. you give us everlasting life. In Yeshua's name. <laughs> Somebody's getting tired. I got it. Got it. Okay, be careful. Okay, can mommy have some too? Mommy and Milo? Okay, here, let me do it. Okay, can I put my finger in? Um, not, not right yet. now. I'm trying to avoid stains. Okay. Can Milo have some? Yeah, I'm going to give Milo right. a little bit. Get on. You like that, baby? No good, buddy. Hmm. It's not a car wash. <laughs> All right, Shana, ready? You going to help Daddy? Your favorite part, the bread. Baruch atah Adonai Elohim HaOlam. Moti lechem min ha'aretz. Blessed thou, Lord our God, <laughs> King of the universe, who brings forth <laughs> the bread from the <laughs> earth. Thank you, Yeshua, your body that was broken for us. For us. <laughs> for us. <laughs> and we thank you, Father. Hold it. Okay, you're going to hold. So we're, we're praying, okay? So good. I know it smells good. <laughs> Yeshua, your body was broken for us. And that heals our family, takes away all sickness and disease, <laughs> cancer, anything that is not of the Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord God. Yeshua's name, amen. 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 I'm going to take some. Sorry, Bobos, you can't have some of this. Thank you. Okay, you're really digging in there. Take a little piece, because we're going to sing. <laughs> Milo. Mm-hmm. All right, buddy, ready to sing? Do you want to lead? I'm ready. You ready to you ready? sing? All right, start us off. Do you want to finish chewing first? Let's finish chewing. Start us off. All right, let's ready? go. You ready? Join us at home, at your home and our home. <laughs> All right. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom, Shabbat shalom, hey, Shabbat shalom, hey, Shabbat 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 shalom. He's definitely my son. Shabbat 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 shalom, Shabbat shabbat. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat Shalom, hey, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Whoa. Shabbat Shalom, family. Love you guys. And thank you for coming into our house and thank you for bringing us into your house. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Psalm 103, Milo. Yes. He hasn't gotten to that one yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's working his way through the Psalms. But I love the way he pays attention, especially when the music is rolling. Ah. Psalm 103, bless the Lord, O my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. He forgives all of my sins and he heals all of my diseases. 
And so, every breath that I take, I'll return to you as praise. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, let every breath return to you as praise. By the blood of Jesus we have been Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless His name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and every breath returns to you is praise. By your blood, Yeshua, I have been redeemed. Surely you're my Savior, you're my friend Higher than the heavens you have lifted me oh, And we will sing again Bless the Lord Come and bless the Lord Come on, Milo Come bless the Lord Can you see I will bless the Lord For He has been good to me Milo, you are a gift from the Lord You are the assurance that He has been good to me You want to sing this with me? Take a line And I will bless the Lord at all times and always I will bless you, Lord. No matter what's going on, no matter what life brings, I will bless the Lord. I'll remember all of his goodness. Every time I see you, I remember the Lord is good. And he's been good to me because, oh, are you singing? Yeah, I hear you. And I will sing again. Shabbat Shalom. Before we move into the message portion of the evening and hear from Nathan and Malky, we want to give you an opportunity to sow into what the Lord is doing here with Shabbat in your home. We continue to receive the most amazing testimonies from many of you who join us each week, and we want to continue producing these services, but we cannot do it without your help. Mm. And we found that some of you may even consider this to be your home congregation. Now you can send your tithe to the address on the screen, scan the QR code, or go to ShabbatInYourHome.com. Of course, if you feel led to give a one-time gift, we want to thank you for that as well. Now, some of you may even feel like you want to sponsor an entire Shabbat In Your Home episode. Again, you can go to ShabbatInYourHome.com for more information. All right, let's join Nathan and Malky as they share about how the Lord supernaturally orchestrated their beautiful family. The Lord used me for that. Did you know that? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We are so <laughs> excited to be joining you for a special edition of Shabbat in your home. Yeah, we're shaking things up a little bit and sharing a little bit about how the goodness of God has just seen us through our Married life, um, even before, but we're going to focus on our married life, mm -hmm. right? Our three wonderful boys. <laughs> it was funny because I was thinking the other day when we were going through, what was it, our marriage counseling with oh, yeah. Rabbi Wallet. 
as I used to call them, yeah, we call them WW. <laughs> and we were sitting there like, how many kids do you want? And you're like, well, I come from a big family. <laughs> So I'd like four, and I was like, "Ooh." <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm one of five, so um, we really like to do a lot of things as a family. So I wanted to have more, uh-huh. <laughs> but you wanted two. I yeah, thought was two. <laughs> good, and we were there, and then God had other things. But it does take two to tango. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, God has been so good to us, and we just wanted to share a little bit of that since typically we're sharing on the scriptures. But really just go back to when my dad, he first came to the congregation, Rabbi Rene, yeah, that's Rabbi right. Wobert's <laughs> dad, kind of had a big part to play in our story. Yeah. So we were kind of met through him. I just remember Rene coming to me one time. And Rene was in Israel's Hope with my dad, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> back in the 80s. And I always called him Uncle Rene just a great influence on my life, such a sweet man. Yeah. And I was really close with his mom and considered her like another grandma Aww. growing up, very sweet. She was Spanish. Aww. And I think <laughs> their influence growing up in their house, I was there a lot, was one of those influences like, I want to marry someone that's Jewish <laughs> and Hispanic. And long and behold, I did. Yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know what else to say. But anyway, just going back to that time, you know, when Rene, he was talking, he was like, Nathan, there's a beautiful Hispanic Jewish lady at my <laughs> congregation. I was like, I know, Uncle Rene, but so many pastors try to connect me with their daughters, and it just doesn't work out well. But God had a plan. <laughs> yeah, but it really only took one meeting with you, and I was like, oh, oh wow. Thank you. <laughs> but the first time we did meet, technically... Social media had a hand in it. Yeah. But we had already knew, known of each other because of Uncle Renee. And then my dad had met you. Yeah. So we both had people talking to us and saying, you got to meet, got to meet. Social media was just there to kind of be like, finally get together. But once we started talking, it was hours at night. Yeah. So after we met, there was a long period of waiting, um, four years to be exact. Mm -hmm. And in that time, I felt like God was working in my life. And I'm sure it was, he was molding us for the perfect time to, to bring us together. Yeah. So when we got married, it was pretty short between engagement. And even your dad said, it's just get married. Because he said long engagements don't work out very well. Yeah, once you know it's the one, why wait? <laughs> yeah, your dad always has an, a way of He's a wise the... <laughs> man. So after we got married, Caleb came along, and that was such a beautiful, joyous mm-hmm. time in our lives. It was the first grandson on your side. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I think it was number three on my side. But after he came, um, it was just wonderful, and we decided we wanted to have more. Mm -hmm. But then once we got pregnant with number two, we were so happy and we experienced loss Mm -hmm. right after that, which was one of the hardest seasons we've ever been through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It always seemed like God had us going through a period of waiting. Yeah. Not that he caused the loss. Sometimes you can't explain things. But we first met, there was a time of waiting. We got married. And then the second time of waiting was to see the fulfillment of what God had for us, which was more children. That was a desire of our heart. In that season of waiting, we had a dear friend of ours, Chuck Pierce, came to minister with us in Jacksonville, Florida. And I just remember before he left, he said, I wanted to pray for you guys. So I was trying to rush to the back, and he just started dusting things like off of our shoulders. I was like, that's interesting. (laughs) And he prophesied over us that the Lord had more children for us, and we hadn't told him anything about. He he kept mentioning there's um, to wait for the restoration Mm -hmm. of the things that were lost. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing that he shared with us was that he he not only saw one child, he saw two. Mm -hmm. Or no, he saw one child, and then soon after that, he saw another. And then he said, another (laughs) one, if you want so right now we're at the limit of where he said <laughs> of three kids. Yeah. But the one that you want, we're like, I don't know. That would be four. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the Lord wants. Yeah. But then there was still another time that we had to wait yeah, about I three think years. It was, yeah, three years. And fast forwarding to when that moment happened, 
I was preparing for a Shabbat in your home, and because of the crew setting up, I was trying to finish my message, funny enough, on the times of Noah yeah. and what that means for the last days. I was in my office, and all of a sudden, it just felt like his presence filled my room. There's very few times where I know he's going to speak to me, and that was one of them. Yeah. And it was very impactful. He said, you're going to have a son soon. <laughs> you're to name him Noah, for he's going to be a sign that the end is here. And I said, wow. okay, what do I do with that? I just remember <laughs> stepping away from what I was writing. I came downstairs you said that my face looked like I was in bewilderment. I knew something had happened. I was like, are you okay? Do you need some water? Mm -hmm. And when he shared with me that the Lord had um, already told them that we would be pregnant with another son, and I think what did it for me was that he already knew his name. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was where I put my trust. I'm like, the Lord already knows his name. It's a done deal. Yeah. So I stopped thinking about how I could fix it, how I could um, get pregnant, or how, how to make it work in my own mind, and just allowed the Lord to, to take care of his promise in mm -hmm. our lives. And um, I think it was the first night of Hanukkah, yeah. <laughs> which is funny timing because mm -hmm. the Lord likes to use um, special timing with us. Yeah. Well, our lives live on his calendar. That's right. And that cycle is usually when something happens, either Shabbat mm -hmm. or one of these holidays. So, and I just remember yeah. coming home and you were so excited on the first night of Hanukkah to give me my present. I'm like, what did she get me? Because normally it's, you know, we, we celebrate and light the first candle. But she was just so insistent, like, open it. Mm -hmm. And it was sun my sunglass case. <laughs> I had to hide it somehow. <laughs> and I opened it up, and there was the test result. And I was just, like, <laughs> excited. I didn't know how to respond, really. But it was just such a precious moment. After waiting so many years, it, yeah. was, it was fun to see that. And Noah was born, mm -hmm. and it was just like, wow, this is our, our miracle child. We experienced mm -hmm. miracle in our lives. And then shortly after that... <laughs> <laughs> miracle <laughs> number two came really fast. Yeah, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> yeah, and that was just... An, the overflow I felt of God's goodness to us. We had waited. Double portion. And yeah. we just thought, well, maybe two is it because it took that long. And now we have number three. And it's amazing as you hold each child, you just there's a calling on each and every one of their lives. And we just treasure and love what God's doing in our lives. So we want to encourage you, if you've been waiting, if there's something in your heart that the Lord has placed there, um, and you've just been in a season of waiting, it's just trust in Him, and He will He'll make it happen. Don't try to figure it out, and um, try to get out of your mind, because the Lord can, He just opens the way. He knows every hair on our heads, it says in Luke. I was reading that the other day, and I'm like, wow, every hair on our head is counted by the Lord. He already knows. He knows every detail in our lives, so just... You know, trust in him and he'll make it happen. Yeah. He, his promises to us are, you know, if he promised something, he's going to do it, right? So let's pray together in agreement with everyone that's watching that the Lord is going to be with them where they're at with their families. Right. So, Father, we just thank you in the name of Yeshua that every household that is watching, that, Lord, you know the cries of their heart. Yes. You know the intents of, of what's inside of them. I just ask in the name of Yeshua, Father, that you would reach down and touch every person. Lord, those dreams that have yes. been dormant, we claim and say, come to life oh, yes. now in the name of Yeshua. Those yes. things that other people may even pronounce dead, we say life yes. in the name of Yeshua. We call the dead things alive. We call the dormant things to waken up. Yes. And we thank you, Father, that you know what yes. is on everyone's heart, what's on their minds, what's their prayers. And we thank you, Father, that you are working all things yes. out for their best, just as you worked it out for us. And we say in the name of Yeshua, yes. amen. amen. 
We are so blessed with such a wonderful family, and it truly is incredible to see how the Lord has brought all of us together. Mm -hmm. Yes, and from generation to generation, the Lord's hand is weaving our story together, and we are so blessed for our growing family. Yes, and we want you to know if you're watching tonight and maybe waiting on the Lord for something, God is no respecter of persons. What he did for Nathan and Mulkey, he can do for you. Yes, and we're believing for you. We have prayer partners and we pray for you every week. So let's finish tonight with a special blessing. The only one that I know of that God commanded to be spoken over his people. And he said that when we do this, the Lord said in response, I will do two things. He said, I'll place my name upon you, meaning you are a part of his family. And he said, I will bless you. There's a blessing tonight from the Lord that adds no sorrow with it. Are you ready? Here it is. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Yivarechecha Adonai, for Yishmarecha. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Ya'er Adonai panavelecha bichuneka. And may the Lord lift up his countenance, turn his face toward you, and give you his peace. Yisa Adonai panavelecha ve'yasem lecha shalom. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus, our Messiah, the Prince of all peace. Amen and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.